Hi guys, welcome back to Bougie Doll Life. My name is Katrina, and today we're going to be reviewing Barbie Extra Fancy Curvy. Now, I know I'm late getting this doll, but let me explain, which has a lot to do with this video today on why it took me so long to get this doll. But if you guys want to get my honest opinions and see this doll fully and get my point of view on her, just keep on watching. So this is the Curvy Barbie Extra Fancy. Look, this is her artwork right here. It's so beautiful. Now, when this first came out and I saw the promo pictures, I knew off rip that I was going to get her. Like, she was the one. I didn't care about the Millie Mode one. I didn't care for the one with the teddy bear. I wanted her. And I was like, as soon as she's available, I'm going to get her and things like that. So, that points me to the reason why it took me so long to get her. So, let's open it up and I'll show you guys a little closer. Alright, so this is the Barbie Extra Curvy out of the box. I really love her face. Like, this is what really drew me to her. Her eyebrows match her, hair, her honey blonde hair. And that made me really happy. The one thing that made me wait this long to get her hair, because look at this. What is this? What is this? Oh my goodness. This hurt broke my heart so bad when I saw the stencil. You guys don't understand. Like, it broke my heart. You know why? Because I was fine with her just having honey blonde hair and no tencel. Like, the thing is, even if I was a child, I, I used to like to style my doll's hair when I was younger. And the tinsel just gets all raggedy and it gets all like crimpy and fringy but then I came up with an idea because what happened was I saw her online and I don't know something kept telling me wait just wait to get her hold on just wait to see her because some dolls I need to see them in person because when you see them in person it does something to you different than when you see them online or just a picture some dolls off of a picture you can tell, like my Barbie Extra number 17 that I reviewed for you guys. I knew off rip she was gonna be hot because I saw um, people already have her, but without the face app because people use face app to change their doll's face. But I wanted to see her straight up and down, and I saw people posting her without it, and I was like, okay, I, I can buy her online. But this doll right here, I don't know, something like that was holding me off. But I realized that when I saw her in the store, I stopped and I'm like, oh, I see her in the store. So I look closer and I see the tinsel and I'm like, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? <laughs> she has tinsel on her hair. But you know what? I'm kind of glad because she only has tinsel on the front. I did observe her hair and it's only mostly in the front so what I'm going to do, I'm going to take some tweezers and tweeze out the tinsel because no, we, we don't do tinsel hair. We don't do, <laughs> we don't do tinsel hair here and I feel like once I take out the tinsel it will work a lot better and she'll do a lot better without the tinsel, okay? and then. On to her look, I really love how her earrings have color in it. I love how her earrings has these blue and gold, like a gold metallic earring. And I love it because it's a hanging earring, it's not a hoop. And it's not, it is something different that I've seen from Barbie Extra Fancy. And I love this necklace and I love this choker. Because my doll, I like gold. I like silver, but I'm more lean towards gold when it comes to dolls because, I don't know, it looks more elegant. If that makes sense, that's just my opinion. Everybody's opinion is different. And um, another thing, this bracelet right here is cute, but I just feel like it's a little too playful for my taste. I mean, for a little girl, it'll be really cute, but for an adult collector, I feel like that would be a little too playful. But she does come with other bracelets. She comes with these two bracelets, but I think it's very beautiful, which I think will look way better than this flower bracelet so I'm gonna definitely swap this out or take that off altogether and I'll probably use that bracelet if my doll's wearing like a playful outfit but 
I like how it comes with this chain as well, separate. I like the fact that all the jewelry's not on her at once. I hate that. I do not like how they jumble up all the jewelry on the Barbie extras. Like, that's not gonna make them extra because they're wearing too much jewelry, okay? Like, this is not, not who could wear the most chain, guys. So I really like the new shoes that they're giving the Barbie extras and the Barbie extra fancies. I think they're really cute. They're way better than that boot. I'm so sick of that boot. You guys don't get it, okay? And so I'm happy they're giving them a different type of shoe and it makes me very happy. And I noticed their foot's a little curved, so that's good. So I'm gonna see what other shoes they can fit. And I don't know if I showed her glasses. These glasses are everything. I love these circle glasses. Circle glasses and cat eye glasses are my favorite. And let me just put it on top of her head because I think that's how she had it in the picture. It was on top of her head. And she looks so cute. Girl, you, she's fly. Like, she's fly. And that she's fly. And I really love how she looks. And also, help me find a name for her because I usually name my doll. So, and comment down below why I should name her or what she looks like. Like, name it, drop the name down below. Okay? This is another, just to show you guys, this is another bracelet she comes with. It looks really nice. It has like little like notches in it and it's super cute and it's like gold metallic. It's very cute. And then she also comes with this clutch bag, which I think is cuter than this bag, but I like them both just the same because they both will work in my wardrobe well, as far as the other clothes I have. And I really like this because this gives me a little clash for the hand. So when I do go to doll events, I can put my doll's hand in there and it'll look very beautiful. And then another thing I did not like, well, I don't mind this because I never gonna use it anyway. But she came with a clear cat. I'm like, a clear cat? What is this? Like, why you guys couldn't give her a... And another thing, why do they make their heads so big? And I don't understand that. I'm sorry, I don't want this to be a complaining video. But, because I really do love her. She is very beautiful. Her face is so gorgeous. Let's look into her face. So, right here, she has, like, hazel eyes with blue eyeshadow and light brown eyebrows and she has like a nude lip and it's so cute and this honey blonde hair is very pretty like she, and i see her on instagram she photographs very well from what i've seen i mean i don't use face app too often but i've seen her on photos and she photographs really well without it too so i can't wait to see what she does and how she does in photos and I love that her hair is not too long. Let me show you how long her hair is. How long her hair is. It's about to her calves. So, yeah. And then there's this freaking tinsel. It's, you guys don't know. I despise this stuff. And it's, well, it's okay. It's going to get picked out. So, we're, let's just not complain about that. And then I love this cute braid that she has right here. And, you know, in my reviews, you guys don't see me complain much about dolls. But... You guys don't understand, I was highly anticipating this doll, and I think she's so pretty, and people were saying that her skirt looks like a shower curtain, I mean, I ain't gonna lie to people that said that, they should check their own fashion, but you know, that's neither here nor there, but I'm just saying, like, yeah, this is a bit much because it's very plasticky, but the thing is, is that this could be matched with something else. So, I see it as a fashion piece, not for this outfit, but I can match it with something else that I have in mind. I already even have other fashion ideas for this skirt, because this skirt does not have to go with these pants. Yeah, that's another thing. Like, I feel like it's too much floral. I feel like they should have contrasted with a solid color instead of just having this glitter band right here. I feel like they should have had, like, a block of solid, not just floral on floral on floral, like... That's like people putting stripes on stripes on stripes on stripes. And I feel like too much of a pattern kind of overpowers an outfit. So let me show you guys how she looks without the skirt. I love the outfit without the skirt. Let me show you guys. This is it without the skirt. And I'm absolutely in love with this outfit. It's so nice. And with the skirt, it's underrated because the skirt does overpower it. But the skirt's not bad, okay? And then, yes, it does have that plastic shower curtain material. But I'm not gonna lie, when I did hear that, I kind of felt away because she is a curvy doll. And for you to say that she's the doll with the shower curtain skirt, it's like, 
what? But anyways, but you know, that's another topic for another day. But what I'm saying is that she looks good. Like she looks really good. And besides the tinsel, the only the only problems I have with this doll is the tinsel and the fact that she comes with a clear cap but I never use these anyways but I do like the glasses I might cut the palm trees off because I have the fashion pack that has palm trees already and then uh, I do like this purse right here it's really cute it's a little rose purse and that's different and then her articulation she has articulation of the head and then she has articulation of the elbow and of the knee I love her face mold because it does remind me of my mini me's face mold and it's really like a very attractive face mold and it photographs very well and i also love the fact that she has these cute braids on the side i'm probably gonna leave the braids for a little while but i'm definitely gonna pick out as much tinsel as i can once this video is over and i'm gonna put her in some chilling clothes so that's what i do usually after i review these dolls i'm gonna be so completely honest with you guys i put them in chilling clothes and i put their um dress up clothes in a whole portfolio of clothes that i have so yeah, so I definitely love her outfit. I can't wait to style this outfit. And I, I can't wait to style this skirt too because if you know fashion, you can make anything work. So I have an idea with this skirt for a different outfit. But I don't hate it. It's actually workable. And the thing is, I feel like people don't like it because it's plastic. But at the same time, you have to think of the price point because this doll is... $32 and you have to think of it like okay so it has all these necklaces earrings the, the outfit if you feel the outfit the outfit is fabric it's like a faux like I don't know how to explain it it's not snake but it's like a faux like leather material in the back when i move her hair it velcro's really nice and i love how it close up like a rib tee because rib tees do look really good on the curvy dolls i feel like it flatters them very well all right and actually, honestly she's still my favorite barbie extra fancy because honestly people have been buying the millie mold just to get the dress let's just keep it real in here like if we keep it real in this video people would buy the millie doll for her, her dress and um her bangs are really thick and and the teddy bear she's very cute too you know but you know i lean more towards the curvy but you know i feel like she is just stunning and i really can't wait to style her up and dress her up and add her on with the other girls that i have and fix her up and you know i'm glad that they're adding the eyebrows to be the same color as the hair because even with my hair because my hair is honey blonde i use like a light brown um brow pencil when i do my eyebrows because i want my hair to match my eyebrows but like you know <laughs> and all in all i really give this doll about a 9 out of 10 i give it a 9 out of 10 because of this freaking tinsel you guys don't understand this tinsel drives me nuts the tinsel and what else I give it a 9 because I don't really care for this bracelet and the cat is ugly. And that's, that's the only reason why she's a 9. But other than that, like, her face is gorgeous. I love her face screen and she has no pixelation. There should be no reason a Barbie fancy should have pixelation. Like, how the mini mold has pixelation? And you're almost a $40 doll. That's okay, but we're gonna not go there. But like, I'm just saying, I know this is a very honest and vivid video, but I just had to share with you guys my honest opinions about this doll. And the reason why it took me so long to get her, because honestly, when the promos came out, I was really in love with her. I wanted to get her as soon as she dropped. But you know, I had to like meditate on it. I had to think on it. And I do that a lot with a lot of things because the thing is, I don't like to buy dolls and then later regret it and then i have to donate it because i didn't care for it like i thought i would so now when i buy dolls i think on it 
And unless it's a doll, like right away, I'm like, yeah, she's stunning. She's gorgeous. She works. I want I want her in my lineup. But other than that, like I have to, I don't want to just get a doll just for the sake that she's a new doll. But I am glad that I finally did get her. And I can't wait to fix her up. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys think about this doll. If you guys like her, if you guys, what you guys really think about her, what you guys think about Barbie Fancy. Do you think they'll come out with a second wave? Um, what do you feel about some of the Barbie Fancy being pixelated, like the Millie mode? And know down below which Barbie Extra Fancy is your favorite. For me, it's her. I'm just being honest, it's her. And yeah, so I can't wait to see what you guys say in the comments. And let's have a conversation, guys. So that's the end of this haul for this curvy Barbie Extra Fancy. I love her. Even though she has tinsel, it's okay. We're going to accept her the same and just plug out our tinsel. And don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell and comment. And let me know what you guys think. Let's have a conversation. I love talking with you guys. I really appreciate you guys supporting my channel. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.